We're making today a very easy bake, a traditional one, but I've removed the butter and traditional sugar, and it's a reduced calorie recipe for orange and ricotta scones. We're going to have a look at the recipe. We will need 400 grams of self-raising flour. I'm also adding 200 grams of ricotta some grated rind of two oranges, the juice of one orange, two tablespoons of honey or agave, and two eggs. And that's a very simple and quick recipe for a very simple and quick bake. A very quick look at our ingredients. I'm using self-raising flour, I'm using agave. You can use honey if you wish. I'm also adding a touch of bicarbonate of soda just to increase the bubbles and the texture. Some ricotta, my eggs, oranges and I'm also using a clementine. If you wish you could also add some vanilla. I'm starting with my self-raising flour and I'm sifting that twice. <laughs> So I'm adding half the amount of ricotta to the amount of flour that I have and I've got 200 grams here. I've transferred my mixture to a bigger bowl and I'm going to use my fingertips to gently rub in the ricotta in the same way we rub in butter. appears consistent I'm going to stop and add all the other ingredients. I'm starting by adding my extra bicarbonate, about half a teaspoon to this recipe if you wish to add it. And a pinch of salt and then I'm going to mix again. orange zest. I'm adding some agave. If you wish, you can also add stevia. And if you've got a very sweet tooth, a tablespoon of stevia on top of the agave. Next, my two eggs. my juice, orange juice, and I'm also using a clementine. And then very simply, I'm just going to mix all this together.
I don't really need this recipe. The less kneading, the lighter the scones will be. But I keep handing near me my flour and my water so that I can adjust the mixture accordingly because I put in quite a lot of orange juice today. My dough is ready now, no kneading, and I'm just going to spread some flour onto my clean surface and place my dough on top of that. I'm spraying my dish with some non-stick spray. And then very gently with my rolling pin, we need to keep the dough fairly thick. my scones into the oven at 200 degrees for about 25 minutes and I've left quite a lot of space they should expand quite a lot not covering them in egg wash at all because with the taste of the ricotta and the orange I just love to pour on them some more warm honey or agave this is my second batch of scones we've got quite a lot of scones from the recipe we shared and I'm placing them on a slab of cold marble so that they can cool down a bit. We're going to have another quick look at the recipe for my orange and ricotta scones without any butter or oils. I have used 400 grams of self-raising flour, 200 grams of ricotta, the grated zest of two oranges or an orange and a clementine, the juice of an orange, I've used the juice of two oranges, two tablespoons of honey or agave. If you have a very sweet tooth, add some stevia and two eggs. My scones have cooled down quite a lot, still slightly warm, and we're just serving them with some agave on the top, just drizzled lightly. And when the weather's hot, you don't even need to heat your honey or agave. to finish off with just some more grated orange zest. I hope you'll try out my recipe of today. The ricotta keeps 
the scones very, very moist and light. And you can find more recipes on my blog. I'll see you soon.